Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Art Adventurer Guild. Um, I'm going to, first of all, advance the day so we get rid of this bad omen. Um, hopefully some people get their mood back, because that'll affect how much uh, bravery we have to take on the Bandit King mission, which is what I've decided we're going to do next. Um, some people are a bit more cheerful. But a medicine donation. Uh, McCann brought a stockpile in, so Adventurer is going to recover twice as fast. That is quite useful. Drunken harassment? Oh no. Today, Adrath made a very crude remark about Benita Applebum's appearance. A remark that Benita Applebum took more than personally. Needless to say, Adrath was drunk as usual when he made that remark. Oh dear. Adrath. <laughs> okay, we're going to heal up people we want to take out, um, like Savage Danero. Uh, Pladuk. Who's my best healer? What level is St. Seattle? Not, I can't remember. We might take him out. Uh, you can donate here, but let's... Um, we can do that on the team screen anyway. Three ready to level up? Oh, Rob and Todd, of course. To be honest, I feel like he's kind of been superseded by um, the last one we got, whose name momentarily escapes me. Let's re-roll. We might get a two. Oh, we did. Good. Curtis. We should be pretty good. We should have hoped for a two on that, to be honest. Might re-roll. There we go. Didn't get the endurance, unfortunately, but getting the two was pretty good. I think I want new skills. Of course they do. Um, sword damage. Combat training. Sword damage. Close combat training. Curtis. I guess we'll take movement. Okay. Okay. Right. The time has come for us to do the Bandit King mission. Five stars. Haven't done this before. Nine to eleven. We're going in with level elevens. I'm quite nervous. I've, I've heard this is a really tough one. So, oh, actually, we're not going to go ne in necessarily with the A team. Um, so we want our tank to be Savage Danero, I think, being a paladin. I think he's got a bit more about him, perhaps. Um, I want Odin in as the arcane knight. Flora Blitz, maybe not, because we're going to want a mage, a healer, and a rogue, I think. In terms of the rogue, we're going to take Gizmo. The mage is going to be Pladuk. And then we've got a choice here. Because we've got Rowan, but he's not a bishop yet. So he's a little more basic than, say... Uh, ah, this thing is saying Seattle's only level 9. Which makes me worry for him. I think we need to take a bishop. Hestipa's not a bishop yet. Litsy Bits is, but again, she, he's only level 9 as well. I'll take St. Seattle. I think I might... I might buy the... Apart from Pladuk, I might buy these other guys a drink, just so they're a bit more cheerful, more bravery points as we go into this. Um, Odin gets a drink. Gizmo gets a drink. That looks fine. Arrow gets a drink. Seattle gets a drink. Okay. I'll take every possible precaution. Prosperity is probably not the most important one here. Death Ward could be. I might keep that one. Make equipment available. Where did everyone go? <laughs> Where did all my people go? Um, oh no, because it... Uh, I'm going to have to advance today. Okay, I think they're, they're unavailable because they're drinking and hopefully none of them... Oh, we're going to have to do that again. Uh, but Odin and Hestipa have become friends, that's cool. Um, we're going we're gonna to skip another day because we want these people back. Infighting. Oh no, Tony and Darkmoon. 
Oh, they've always gotten into arguments. Everyone has gotten used to it. Today, however, things escalated into a brawl when things were said that couldn't be taken back. Unfortunately, none of them had their weapons, so the fight ended with broken noses and blue eyes when some of the other... Probably black eyes, it means there. When some of the other adventurers finally stopped them. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to change up the uh, the parties. I think they do not get on. Uh, training ground. So these guys who've leveled up, can they not be trained anymore? Oh, I think because I need to do the level up. Okay, and I will do that because it means that while the Bandit King mission's taking place, these guys are still leveling. Okay, that's fine. Hoping for endurance here. I don't think he got it last time. It's better. Needed one more endurance and then he'd be uh, knight potential. We maybe hope for arcane knight from uh, Curtis here. Oh dear, no, we'll reroll that. We only got one, but we got some other stuff too. So that's good. Who else? Oh, Rosa. I'm not going to do all their skills, assuming that any of them have any. I think we can hope for better there. Okay. I wanted the endurance, really. Uh, but I will stick them on the training dummies again. They're all warriors as well. They don't all have to be kept that way. Right. Well, these guys should be available again. I'm just going to dismiss so we can kind of assemble the party in a way that makes sense to me. So we want Danaro first. Uh, then we want Odin, Gizmo, Arduck, and what did we decide? We decided on Seattle, didn't we? Okay. So, um, they are taking food, so I think we're going to be exploring. So I'm going to take, uh, take a bunch of those rare keys, a bunch of shovels. Um, I think we'll take five each of the medium potions. Take five each of the little ones as well, just for little top-ups here and there when they're needed. I guess I'll take that. Maybe a couple of those. I mean, it's not going to be... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to take all the anti-venom and bandages I can. I feel like... Yeah, physical resistance could be useful. This isn't going to be so much about accruing lots of... Um, Okay, lots of treasure. It's going to be about just trying to survive, I think. So let's do let's do weapons first. So Danaro, do that. Odin, do Ferdinand. Stabby knives. Uh, Pladic is ice mage, I think. And then uh, give him fire mage. Do that. Good. Crit, accuracy, dodge, and initiative. Probably for the rogue. Dodge and initiative. Bleed chance and bleeding. I don't know. I'll have a think on that. I think on both these guys, I'm actually going to take... Um, the magic recharge. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, I'll put it there. Okay. Yeah, the magic recharge necklaces. But I'll put the uh, heal potency on Seattle there. Probably physical resist. Well, actually, no, let's stick the two night rings, which does have physical resistance anyway, on the knights, as well as. Physical attack on Danaro. Maybe the magical attack on Odin, actually. And then dodge crit hidden. Or oh, the SP is... Oh, all this, oh, I'm going to take the sneak attack damage, I think. I'm going to take three stacks of rations. Um... Okay, we're going to go in like this. I'm still a little bit worried about these guys, but uh, I'm 
sure they'll be fine. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure they'll be fine, but we're going to hope they'll be fine. I'm a little wary just because of how many messages I've read online about it being a pretty tough fight. The adventurers stood at the front of the soldiers from House Greyhorn, side by side with Gilbert, who was leading the newly raised subjugation force. On the other side were the bandits, who have entrenched themselves in a defensive position, ready to meet them in battle. Soldiers! Gilbert yelled. For far too long have the bandits and their so-called bandit king been plaguing these lands. They plundered innocent villages, murdered travellers in cold blood, and abducted people from their families. I ask of you, not as your master, not as a noble, but as a fellow man who loves these lands and their people. Will you lend me your strength and put an end to their atrocities? We will, the soldiers responded in unison, their voices vibrating the air. Thank you, comrades, Gilbert pulled out his weapon. Now charge! Okay, what does this look like? Ooh, okay, what's this? Uh, have they got... We got siege weapons or something. Uh, I don't like the look of that. No, 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 no. Is this the Bandit King? Bandit leader. You know, I reckon he's not the king. I think it would say Bandit King, and I think he'd have an actual identity. 230 HP. I mean, I think I'll let these guys come closer. I don't want to charge up, up there, really. I'm just going to... The sound... The music seems quite loud on this, and I'm just going to turn it down a little bit just for this fight. Okay, let's delay. I've, yeah, I feel like the Bandit King's not on the field yet, so... We should uh, proceed with caution and not use everything in this phase of the battle. I'll hold something back. They're all just delaying the little buggers. Come on. Oh, they're letting, they're letting us come to them. It's probably a good idea for these guys to move, though. I've no idea what that's going to be. Right, okay, well, they just passed their turns, so I guess... Uh, as we move up. We've got the range there. Oh, you missed. I can't. Oh, not, not in this not in this battle, Gizmo. Please not in this battle. Uh, we need all hands on deck for this. Uh, maybe just do one of these. 74th cent. Don't know we, we want you front and centre. Although you're not front and centre there. on this guy to come down. I will shield up as well. Odin, how far can you get? Now we do have spells, luckily, so we could... One of those, 83... stick you in this bush and uh, why don't we try to get rid of one probably could well I don't think I was close oh yeah like an arrow hailstorm they're just passing their turns until we get up there pretty good of a gizmo I think we'll put you there. Uh, 
138. Wow, that's the new record on a Crip. Haven't seen anything like that yet. We're gonna have to move Pladdock out of that bush, unfortunately. 14% chance to hit. You bet we're gonna counter. Lead, that's good. He's going for Gilbert. Hey, Seattle, well, we don't want you to sit there. That seems like an extraordinarily bad idea. Let's see. I think I'll give... Uh, Danero... Holy Weapons. Paddock is going to need to move. Um, I guess let's just finish off the closer bandits so then Odin can push up a little bit. Oh my god. 295 chances missed already. For anyone who's counting. Okay. Um, well, yeah, there's two. 95's missed. Oh, don't stand there. Odin just has to do this and push up. Uh, I won't put the stuff on us, my sword yet. Ah. Apologies for the dog. He's decided he wants to be here, squeaking his toy and barking at me today. Um, push Danny Row up quite far, but I might just stick him here. Right. Uh, Hope for a crit. Didn't happen. And I think we'll portal away on that because I'm getting a bit targeted there. Seattle, I'd quite like to heal Gizmo if we could. Bleed. Oh, firebomb. I was going to say, he was like he was going to attack Odin, but he didn't. Don't stun, don't stun. Oh, you... Ah, oh, resisted, thank God. Although I think that Aristorm didn't seem to do very much damage to the other guards, so maybe we shouldn't be that worried about it. Um, I quite get rid of this guy, though. It's like a kill. 90% this. There we go. Uh, that'll do. Odin. So this guy, oh, he's very elementally resistant. is a bit annoying and physically resistant we're not really going to be doing any damage to this guy 12 to 17 how can we how can we damage him poison maybe I haven't really got much poison Where's my power strike? How much does that do? Um, barely anything. Hmm. What can we do to him? Sod I'll put some elements, elements on the sword. Do a power swing and just hope that some of this is going to get through. What we're we doing? To, uh, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, 56, I can take that. He did counter though, which isn't great. We'll counter back. 
resisted the bleed. We could do this so he'd be uh, weakened until his next turn. Some of that. Right, well, you're, you two are going to get hit. Okay, Odin's taking a bit of damage there. Uh... Jewel hit there. I'm going to take a bravery point on that as well, though, because it, it wasn't a great hit chance. Gilbert, why'd you stand there? Okay, I'm worried about Odin now. Nice. Such little damage. They're basically there to take a hit for us, I think, more than anything else. So in Seattle, good. So we're going to need to heal Odin because he's uh, he's taking some heavy damage up there. That looks pretty good. Tempted to do another one. No, you'll have to, you'll have to get by, I think. Uh, Pladuck, maybe we could do another ice attack on these two goons. 74 we'll trust in, unjustifiably, because we missed. Now will we counter that? We might. Oh, he's going to attack anyway. At least he weakened it. Oh, damn. At least he resisted the bleed. That was all our heal, though. Ah, Gilbert. Start to see where they failed the first attempt. Danero, we need to, we need to get you we need to get you in helping helping Odin. Come here for now. Your healing touch doesn't work like that. Uh, we throw we throw on a medium health potion then. I don't think we shield up, because the bandit leader's not going to go for us. Oh. Well, that means you'll not be able to cancel the... thing is, he's got quite a big advantage on us now. I suppose we're still a good amount to hit. Wearing him down. Even they miss the high percentages sometimes. I can't believe he's gone in that spot. <laughs> because he's preventing us from attacking from there. Silly Billy. Oh. That, him being there is really sucks. Oh, I can at least uh, throw a knife at this guy. But, oh, 
hull 15. Hopefully the bandit leader just kills that guy. I think I'll clear the uh, stun. Ah. Kill the soldier. Oh, thank god. <laughs> now Savage Danny Bro can go there. Um, how much damage will we do on this guy? Eh, not too bad, actually, but we can maybe try and get a better hit chance. 95. I mean, yeah. 45, not bad. He's got chills. They're multiplying. I think I've used that joke before. Danero now. Let's do our weapon again. I think we should smite too. Oh, well, that was the counter. Oh, he's so close. Ah, there we go, chain attack. Coming in clutch. Okay, Danny Rowe. That's good. Odin, well, we've just got some of these guys to finish off now. So, has he got a ch He hasn't got a charge attack, but... He does, actually. Okay, that's good. Here we go there. Oh, he might need to come up an extra tile. Well, that was a shame. Probably the first non-useless thing Gilbert's actually done in this battle. I think we need to do a little bit of uh, sort of self-care here because I think we're going to see the Bandit King come out. And uh, yeah, we need to make sure we're ready to deal with him, I think. There we go. So yes, will anyone need healing? Odin kind of still does. He's going to come in through here, so I just want to be ready up here. if it hits. Yeah. Uh, we should maybe heal Gilbert. Don't necessarily want him dying. Alright, what's going to happen now? The battle was fierce and bloody. Many of those who fought today will never see the light of day again. However, the adventurers and the soldiers were able to push the bandits back. Seeing they were losing ground, the bandits retreated back to the fortress and closed the gate. Get the ram! Gilbert ordered his men. They were prepared for this. A dozen soldiers were pushing a giant wooden ram towards the gates. The bandits crossbowmen immediately took positions on the walls and shot, at them, shot down at them. 
While most of the projectiles were blocked thanks to the wooden roof of the ram, some that were shot from a better angle managed to find their targets. Soldiers started to fall and other soldiers had to rush in to take their place. It would be a slow and bloody march until they reached the gate. Uh, rain down magic on the crossbowman. Yeah, he needs to roll a two. Well, yeah, I'll just roll a two. Very nice. Pladuk started to sling spells at the crossbowmen on the walls. It was a gruesome display of magic against men. Men were burned or turned to ice. The very force of the spells destroyed parts of the wall. The bandits who were victim of this arcane onslaught started to panic and fled back inside. The soldiers who saw this cheered and yelled Pladuk's name, half in awe, half in fear. The ram then finally managed to reach the gate. BP for Pladuk, very nice. The soldiers started to swing the head of the ram against the gate, the impact of the force causing cracks in the gate's material. With every blow, the gate yielded a little bit more, until finally the gate surrendered completely. Onwards, Gilbert shouted. The soldiers forced themselves into the fortress with the adventurers and Gilbert right behind them. Inside, more bandits were waiting to meet them in battle. A huge melee started to break out inside the fortress. For every man that fell, another combatant from either side would enter to reinforce. Gilbert took the adventurers to the side and told them to leave this battle to him. We've already come this far and I haven't seen the bandit king anywhere. We cannot let him escape, Gilbert told them. You're our strongest force. Please find the bandit king and put an end to all of this. The adventurers understood and made their way deeper into the fortress. May fortune be with you, Gilbert said and went back into the melee with his men. Okay, so now we actually have just uh, an exploration one, huh? Okay. Uh, we've got someone here. Hello. The adventurers found a lonely girl hiding in a room that seemed to be the barracks where the bandits were sleeping. From her appearance, they immediately realized she was one of the bandits. The adventurers readied their weapons, but the girl immediately started to yield. Wait, please, I'm not here to fight. I, I don't like, even like fighting, the girl said nervously. She dropped to her knees and lowered her head so fast that it hit the ground rather violently. Despite that, she started to talk like there was no tomorrow. My name is Misasa, and I'm sorry for being a bandit. I didn't even want to be a bandit, but some friends of mine pushed me into joining the bandit king with them. And they're all dead now. I tried to quit, but it never felt like the right time to say it. I never liked what we did, but I have a hard time standing up to anyone. Even less, when most of these people seem like they have very short fuses. I tried my best not to get involved in harming anybody, but sometimes I had to take one of the prisoners to these creepy robed guys. Then they started to force these tattoos on some of us. I wanted to say no, but have you seen those robed people? They're so damn scary. Oh, why did all of this happen? I wish I could just redo my life. The adventurers put their weapons away. It seemed like she had really no intention of fighting. She raised her head and looked pleadingly at them, blood dripping from her forehead. Please, let me go and I swear I'll quit being a bandit for good, she begged. Alright, let it go. The party told her to go before they changed their minds. Masasa thanked them nervously and started to leave hesitantly. It seemed like she didn't think that the adventurers would actually let her go. With her gone, the party continued to search for the Bandit King. Okay. Be a little bit careful of the traps, because uh, I don't think we got the skills to disarm them. Okay. The adventurers entered a dark room where the stench of blood and corpses was strong. They saw a group of robed people surrounding a stone table. On it was a man, gagged and tied onto the table. He was struggling to break free and muffled sounds of panic could be heard. Before the stone table was another robed person with a dagger in their hand. Before the party could do anything, the dagger swung down at the bound victim, a stab directly to his heart, instantly killing him. For the God Emperor! The person with the dagger shouted, For the God Emperor! The other road people repeated. Suddenly, one of the road people spotted the party. Intruders! He shouted. Great, more sacrifices for our beloved Emperor, the leader said, swinging his dagger. Get them! All right, these are new, f these are new enemies. What have we got here? Cultist. He... Melee bleeding attack. Ah, okay. So they come back to life when they're reduced to zero for the first time. An attack of opportunity. 
Not particularly resistant to much except bleed. Uh, but let them come to us. health have they got? 57. That is quite a lot. Um, let's put some fire on our sword. How about now? Ah, so yeah, so he came back with one. Didn't proc on that other guy. Was that because I did so much damage, I wondered? Yeah, don't know. Don't know, row. Getting a bit low on mana. Maybe I can shove this guy. Yes, yeah, so they're coming back with one health, which is a little irritating. Um, I'm going to heal up. Danny, so he gets a little bit more mana as well. Lido, that looks pretty good for a fireball, actually. Straight to his goes, who takes the damage. Uh, I think it doesn't have a push, because I'd have... If we get Danny there, I'll actually hold Odin back, because I want Danny to um, shove this guy across all these spikes. Oh no, that's, that's not it. Ah, interesting. He only went across one. All right. resistant to bleed, but she's got a decent chance of doing it anyway. Yeah. Uh, he, well, yeah, let's heal Odin so he gets some mana back, but also gets rid of the bleed, too. Haddock. Probably going to come back. Ah, didn't even die. It's annoying. Yeah, I think as the elemental stuff triggers after their revive, I think that's why he's killing them. I don't know why it didn't work on that other one, but... Okay, yeah, let's do this one. Oh! Okay, we'll do this one then. I'm hoping to get it so the bleed finishes him off. I don't think it will. Ah, the chain attack. There we go. It's a nice XP in here. Ooh, epic chest key. Well, we should probably have a little look round in here. I guess that'll help us open this chest anyway. Uh, to be honest, I think Gizmo's going to be able to open that fairly easily. Uh, nothing there we haven't already seen, it looks like. 
Let's think about rest, possible resting. I think I might go a little bit further. What a big fight. I'd rather not kite him around this table. Damn it. <laughs> we'll probably rest after this fight now, I suppose. All right, let them come to us. These guys are going to take a little while to get to us. Some of them got double tattoos, which is annoying. Miss. Who are you going for? No! Okay, uh, well let's let them come to us to begin with. Heal up uh, Pladic actually. Get some more mana there too, that's good. Mm, we'll wait till they're a bit closer. Uh, yeah, let them come to us. It's annoying. Odin. Well, he had, yeah, well, he's got this kind of charge ability, hasn't he? So why don't we maybe use that here? Mm, I won't put anything else on the sword just yet. Gizmo. Okay, we could... i finish this one off. Let's forget that part. 106, not as good as our previous previous effort. Yeah, I want to nuke this guy. 63, what does this do to him? Up to 60? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to move. Mm. Finish off this guy, but we'll do it from here. Uh, I'll leave the enchantment for now. Oh, I like often do the unexpected things. That's not good. Oh no! Oh, the death resist. Got it, Seattle next. Okay. Get up there. Healing on Giz, please. Thank you. Didn't do very much damage. Oh. Just don't let up. to him. Oh, attack of opportunity. No! Okay, we can teleport though. Nice. 
tanks. Got to look after the not tanky ones. Oh, we didn't. Okay, I think we're gonna. Is he weak to anything in particular? Uh, he's a bit resistant to everything, actually. Let's put some lightning on. Come on, crit, 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 crit. Yeah! Still got a movement too. Let's just be available to do a bit more damage. I don't know, I think we should uh, start worrying about some of these other guys. Stun. Stun, 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 stun. He, does ha he is resistant. What's our chance like? 75? I think we'll probably take that. Shall I just do a really big ass hit? Let's do that. Okay. I was going to do the smite evil. I'll do that now. Ah. <sighs> Got that at least. Ah. I don't really want to bring Gizmo back into like. I'm gonna I'm gonna delay her turn because I don't really want to back in like a firing line. So that would be 26 plus 18. The downside is not instant. It will take the instant heal. Um, I'm going to take another. I'm wondering if I can chuck a mana potion onto Danny. Do a minor one. Ah, not quite. Uh, in that case, let's take another one. these 50-50s, do they? Yeah, we can't do that. What else can we do? Um, we could haste a bunch of us. We could... What's haste do? Movement's increased. APM movement. Okay. Let's chuck that on. I should remember I've got that for the Bandit King fight. Uh-huh. Okay, so this time, smite evil. I'm going to take a bravery point to do the same thing again, I think. Oh, he's still not dead. Okay. Be a kill. There we go. That's just these assholes. You're gonna throw a bomb at me, you're gonna have to hit the your guy. slowly getting through them. Uh, Seattle. I didn't could do with a heal, to be honest.
I get one of these guys. Potentially. What about the explosion? <laughs> oh no. Get a stun on him. It's gonna. I don't know if it's that necessary. I will take damage, but sod it. Let's just get rid. So, um, let's keep going for now, but I think before I get into any of the fights, I'll be resting. It's got treasure. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, what does the map look like? Could be the Bandit King. Uh, let's, we'll come and rest before we do that, I think. Odin, can you do your mana? I don't think Danny Rowe can. You could do a heal. Got four left. Maybe some bravery points on Giz. I'll check the time of the video, and I, I think we're going to have to break this one into two. Uh, okay, we're going to step back. Marty needs to prepare. That's the Bandit King fight. Tell you what, now we know where he is. Maybe I'll continue going for now. I'll avoid other fights. Or, okay. <laughs> Alright, maybe we will break for now, because I'd like to go into this room. There's obviously an event in there. We know where the Bandit King is now. We're going to have to do some more fighting, do that boss fight. Um, rather than have an exceedingly long episode, we will come back next time. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, today's episode. What do you think about the upcoming Bandit King fight? I think it's going to be tough, uh, but we will see. Um, but yeah, interested to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.